Hi everyone, my name is Justin Odisho and in this Adobe Premiere Pro CC tutorial, I'm going to talk about the three main ways that you can speed up or slow down or change the speed of a clip in Premiere. So I've got this clip on the timeline and keep in mind that this clip was shot at 60 frames per second. So when you shoot at a higher frame rate in your camera, that just means you can slow it down and the clip will still remain smooth. So that's why it's going to still be smooth if I slow it down. But if I wanted to slow down this entire clip, one way that I could do it is by highlighting all of the clips and then right clicking and then setting the speed and duration to whatever percentage I want. So here I could set it to 50%. That would slow it directly in half. You could also do things like reverse the speed and things like that. So when I enter that percentage, it'll tell me what the du new duration of the clip will be. So one minute and 51 seconds and I can press OK and now my clip is fully slowed down exactly in half. So it's at 50% speed now. However, there's other ways that you can adjust speed. So I'm going to undo that. And another way that you can adjust the speed of a clip is by using the rate stretch tool. So if you press R on your keyboard, you should switch your cursor to this rate stretch tool, which just means you can click and drag the ends of clips and instead of cutting things off like it normally would if you were just using the normal tool, it'll instead speed or slow things up to however long you drag your clip out to be. This can be useful for a workflow where you're fitting clips into certain pockets and you don't know exactly what percent is going to make them fit, but you can just stretch it down to the exact size that you need. So now I've stretched it down to be pretty sped up and fast forwarded overall. So you can see things are going pretty fast. The third and last way that I'm going to show you that you can adjust speed and this way is a little bit more advanced, you can get a little bit more intricate, is using the time remapping and keyframe options. So if you right click on your clip and then show clip keyframes, you can open up the time remapping or speed keyframes. And then if I scroll into the clip to make it a little bit bigger, you can see I've created this line on the clip. So if I drag this down, it'll slow the entire clip. You can see what percentage you're at. So that's 50%. And you can also add keyframes to this. So if I add a keyframe by clicking this here on the left, or you could find it under the speed time remapping section on the effects control panel, I can create different keyframes. So I can add two keyframes. And then I can take this section that I've created and speed up just this section to be 200% speed. I can also click and split these playheads to create a little bit of a ramp where I can ramp in from slow to fast speeds smoothly. So when I play stuff like that back, you have slow-mo and then it speeds up and then it slows down again. And you can create cool fast forward effects or slow-mo effects. Now one thing to keep in mind is when you do the time remapping method of stretching the clip, the audio and the video do become unlinked. So keep that in mind, maybe instead of using the original clip's audio, which might become all warped, you don't, might want to put some music in there behind it for your project, or you might want to take the time to chop and slice out which portions of the audio clip you want to try to keep and sync up by hand with the other stretching methods. So that's the three main ways that you can adjust speed and time in Adobe Premiere Pro, and you can use each of these different methods for different specific workflows, depending on what you want to do. If you guys enjoyed this video, then definitely leave a like on it. Let me know what you thought in the comments below or find me on social media at Justin Odie Show on Twitter, Instagram to connect with me there. You can find a bunch of other Premiere Pro tutorials on a playlist on my channel and definitely subscribe to stay tuned for all new future videos. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you next time.